This morning, we are outside in the backyard. Barbecue executive chef Jay Bress is here. 1149 is the restaurant. We got meat, charboiled Delmonico steak on the menu. Meat, it's what's for dinner. Nice to see you today. Nice to see you. Thanks for coming in today. Um, this, First of all, this looks great. Uh, the weather is perfect for, for grilling outside. It is, it is. What is it about this uh, this piece of like a Delmonico steak that really, really well, works the, the for The Delmonico something? steak's a bone-in steak. Okay. Okay. So this is going to work perfect. So if you're cooking outside with friends, um, it tends to be... Uh, the Del Monaco tends to be a larger steak, right. so it'll serve well, it'll slice well, it'll present itself well, and it's very easy to cook. And I was also looking at this too, it has a lot of marbling in it, which, it which you really want which because you, really you don't want, want it to dry out exactly. or lose any flavor. Exactly. This kind of steak here, if you do it right, it's not going to dry out, and you would virtually have to cook this thing really, really long. Time. How long does should something like this cook? Because I don't, obviously, you don't want it dried out, you still want it to have that, that great flavor, and you don't want to over... You don't want to overdo it. I mean, the way I'm going to show you how to do this, you're essentially looking at two to three minutes per side. Okay. And very important that you let the steak rest right. after cooking. I know everyone talks about rest it, rest, sure. rest it. But it's super important because, if, especially if you're serving it to friends, you don't want to slice it right after you get it. And then, you know, you end up, by the end, of, you, you'll end up with the uh, well done at the end right. before you're even ready to eat it. Okay, so let's go over some of the other ingredients we're going to use for this. Perfect. So we're going to keep it very simple yep. at the restaurant. We like to do less is more, okay? Sure. So these are all um, approachable ingredients, fennel, peppers, some garlic, chili flake, um, chives, salt, pepper, sugar, a little bit of cheese, citrus, and um, vinegar. So what we're doing here is all we're going to get all these very simple ingredients to do the work for us. Okay, sounds okay. good to me. Uh, this will be a great dish. Maybe you can make it tonight or even this weekend. We'll put this together and also talk about 1149. It's one of those restaurants. Everybody says, you know, we'll go to the movies. We'll go to 1149. Or before the movies, we'll go to 1149. We're just going to go there Earth. and have a have some drinks. So thanks for coming in. We'll put this together. Back to you. Sounds good. For now, Will, we want to send things back out to you, buddy. We are back outside in the backyard barbecue. 1149. 49 is the recipe. We've got some Delmonico steak. We're going to put on the grill. What do you want to do right now? Well, first we're going to season it up. Got it. Okay, what we have here is when I'm grilling outside, I like to do a mixture equal parts salt, uh, pepper, and sugar. Okay, it'll give a nice caramelization. Ooh. So we're going to always season from way up. I nice even, good coverage. So you put sugar okay. in there as well. A little bit. It's gonna it's gonna give you a nice caramelization. Oh, cool. It's okay. gonna you know get it nice and hot. Right. Give it a nice char. All right. Always keep the integrity. Don't stretch it out when you put it on the grill. Always season that bone up. Okay. Right. Especially when there's a, when they got a bone in there because you know someone is gonna want that. Right. Later. It's gonna want it later. Right? Now you have that uh, that that grill is bit, is is hot it's and that's one of the things you really want to make sure. Cast iron right over here. So cast iron is gonna allow us to cook it really fast. Get a nice jar, and it's not going to flame up on us and catch fire. Got it. Okay. We get that on there good. And That's then we just let it cook. I need to get one of those for, the, okay. for my grill at home because that is it one works of the things. Great. It flames like, up all the time. It's like cooking inside but cooking outside. Yeah. You know, and like I said, it's not going to flame uh -huh. up on it. All right. So we're just going to let that go, and we're going to start a salad. So like I said, we're going to let all these things do the work. Uh -huh. Okay. So we got our fennel. We got our peppers. We got our chives, garlic, a little bit of chili flake, okay? Yep. A little bit of our, our salt here. Boom. We're gonna do our vinegar. We're gonna do a little bit of extra sugar just to cut that vinegar. Okay. Okay. Then we're gonna do our citrus. Now I like on this to complement the fennel, we're gonna do two oranges. That looks delicious. Okay. We're going to do two limes. And can I just say, Jay, your squeezing technique is actually... <laughs> hey. <laughs> it's actually really good. All right. Boom. We're going to do our olive oil. Even Jonathan Pogash, who's standing over here, who's going to mix drinks, is like not... <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, pretty much that's it. And we're going to toss gonna, that. We're going to toss that up. We're going to let it, you know, we're just going to let it do its thing. All right. Everything's going to start to come together. Got it. This oh. is something you can do ahead of time and on this particular let, let salad. Sit. I would, you, you could go for an hour or so. Okay. You don't want to go too long because the um, it, it's going to start to cook itself. Got it. Okay. And, and you really want it crisp. So we will let that sit there for a little while. You can hear that sizzle of the steak on the grill. We'll put it together. Also talk about the restaurant, 1149. Just a little bit. Back to you. And we're back outside the backyard barbecue. Executive Chef Jake Burks is here. 1149 is the restaurant. We've got Charboro Delmonico Steak. That he just took off the barbecue, uh, off the uh, off the grill, and it looks so so good, so good.
Okay, we're ready to go. Okay. So we let it sit. Um, I like to let it sit, you know, maybe a third of the time that mm -hmm. you cook it. So you cook it for six minutes, let it sit for a good two to three minutes. Okay. Okay. So what we're going to do is, like I said, we're going to take this right off the bone here. Oh my God. And we're going to leave some of it, because like I said, somebody's going to be gnawing on that right? thing. Yeah. And then we're just going to slice. Look at how good that looks. Oh my God. And you want something like this when you buy a steak. You do want a, some fat in it. You do. So that it doesn't dry that's, out that's and it adds That's what I like flavor. about this, this steak. It, it has a little bit for everybody, mm -hmm. as you can see. Some pieces are fattier, some pieces are leaner. So if you're passing it around the table, everybody gets a little bit of what they want. Got it. So we're going to have this here like that. Then we're just going to take our salad. And put that right on there. Jay, can you just remind everybody what, uh, what the dressing is, is made out of? Citrus. Citrus. Citrus vinegar and sugar. Okay. That's it. And some olive oil. All right. Okay. We're going to take some of our blue cheese here. Just put it around there. Again, don't go too crazy. Let it fall where it goes. That okay. looks so nice. Put that there. A little this, a little there. And you're ready to pass it around. And you can pass it around. So, um, we're going to let this sit here for just for a few minutes. It's just going to cool down just a little bit. But while that's happening, just talk about the restaurant, 1149. Most folks know where it is. It's simple and easy to get to right off the Very end. simple. Is it exit? I think it's exit 8. Very simple, very easy to get right, to. Right, right. Um, we do a lot of promos right now during the week. We're doing a, uh, a midweek promo. Mm -hmm. Um, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, huge value, awesome, forty nine ninety five with a bottle of wine for two. Um, it's it's perfect for a night where you don't want to cook. It's right. too hot. You get out of work. Who wants to go home and sleep? Sure. You know, by the time you get home and you go to the grocery store, you already spent that amount of money anyway. It's true. So there's the value in it. Plus, you know, you, you, there's no dishes. And it's, it's, it's we have a lot of fun. And, and I know you also have a space there too. So if someone wants to have a party, you've got plenty spaces. Plenty of we room, got plenty spaces of, for yeah, everybody. Plenty of room as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. Yeah. And Absolutely. it's also centrally located, so centrally a lot of Rhode located. Islanders don't have to you know, pack an overnight bag to get <laughs> <laughs> No, no. You hop on, you hop off, and there we are. Right. Cool. Very yeah. nice. All right. So give this. I'm gonna give this a try. I'm gonna go down here and give this a, give this a shot. And then it looks so so good. I mean, it's cooked perfectly. Yeah, you, you can't go wrong with this. And with you can this. tell that it's not uh, dried up. Um, Tell everyone your address as well. Our address is 1149 Division, East Greenwich. Um, kind of in the middle of East Greenwich, West Warwick. Um, like you said, it's right smack dab in the middle of everything. Mm. So. That I is, told you, huh? That is delicious. And then with you putting the salad on top with that citrus on it as well. So simple. That's easy. I mean, That's this really is a easy. recipe you could remember. I, I could remember this. I may still have to look it up, but for, mo for the most part, I know how to make this. Jay, thanks so much for awesome. coming in. Thank you. Great to see you. This is really, really such a, uh, a delicious meal that you can make tonight or sometime this weekend. If you would like this recipe, you can head on over to our website, and that is roadshow.com.